is The Chris Abraham Show. Hey there, this is the Chris Abraham Show, Season 5, Episode 52, I think. Maybe 52, or maybe 51, I don't know. This episode is going to be the fact that I'm bummed, because at around 10 o'clock last night, I went into AFib, which is something I've been avoiding for six months, eight months, nine months, four months, anyway... Feels like a long time, but I always make sure that I uh, report it to my doctor whenever it happens and then put it on my calendar so I can search when the last time was. So from 10.20 last night until this morning and right now, I'm in atrial fibrillation. It's something that the president also has and usually old men have, but I got it from uh, the heart failure that I had in 2017 and it's been annoying me ever since um but it's a bummer because tomorrow i'm volunteering uh the park run that i really don't want to have it but i'm on medicines that should pop it back so we'll see what happens between now and 5 a.m tomorrow um i took my meds i'm gonna drink lots of water today and we'll see if it goes back hopefully it does But I will treat today like a regular day instead of pretending like I'm sick and tired. However, it's demotivating. And it was completely my fault, too, because I got into a long conversation with the guy at the cafe. And we were talking about uh, about gluttony. And... uh, And I should have, like, totally, you know what I mean? Like, I should have totally uh, taken my own advice and realized that I'm not a glutton. And I had big breakfast. I had uh, some meaty lunch. And then for whatever reason, heading home, instead of going straight to the erg, I stopped and got a bunch of, like, freaking deli meat and uh, and cheese and, like, chicken and freaking like went to town and I know that all that fat and then the salt and then the lateness of the night and how I was, how I was, uh, lying and the fact that I didn't get onto the erg and I didn't work it through. And I'm sure that the, all the food in my stomach pressed on my, it's not Vegas, it's Vegas, Vegas. Vegas, I'll just be a gutter person and call it my vagus nerve, which is to say what happens in at night with either eating or drinking. And I didn't drink, but uh, the gluttony had instant repercussions because I could hear my chest going, and... I uh, made my poor Garmin watch go off so many times over the course of the night that it ran out of batteries, and I didn't charge it. It's in uh, it's in like time only mode because I don't want it to continue to yell at me. So I'm just gonna use it like a regular watch instead of a super duper track my health uh, GPS watch. <clears throat> so annoying. And yet, even though I don't feel lightheaded or nauseous or sick, I always feel when I have AFib, I feel like I have a little bit of a lump in my throat. And I feel a little bit, like, a little bit fatigued, not in my head, not tired, but physiologically, like, my body feels fatigued. So I might have to pull my... uh, volunteering at uh, Roosevelt Island tomorrow unless I 
maybe I'll just take a, I don't know, I'll give myself the day to, tr- to check out. I feel like I will not be saddled with a terrible reputation if I have a good enough reason for not going. Um, first thing I did in the morning, I didn't do it last night. First thing I did in the morning, I hope that it would go away over the course of my sleep because I use uh, a BiPAP and like sometimes it just goes away on its own. So this morning I used my K-A-R-D-A, my Cardia uh, ECG tool and took uh, an ECG that said atrial fibrillation and then I downloaded it as a PDF. And I sent it to Dr. Lux and, uh, and nurse practitioner uh, Lee Waters just to let them know so it's in the records and to tell them that I'm hopefully going to let this pop back out. We'll see. As they say, uh, inshallah. And uh, what else? I'm wearing my silly Witten barefoot shoes today and I'm heading to the cafe to get a coffee because fuck it, I'm going to have some coffee. That doesn't seem to be my trigger, so I assume not having coffee won't magically... Like, I've got to make sure I don't, like, stick to magical thinking. Like, I I had some food this morning. I had uh, some roast beef and... Um, avocado and uh, uh, now I think I'm going to go to Starbucks for my first coffee because to be honest the uh, Penrose Square Park is calling to me to uh, sit there and get me some vitamin D rays um oh I keep on unlocking secrets about Arlington, Virginia. It's really cool. I uh There's this uh TJ Thomas Jefferson School and they've got like a really good community center with like free weights and gym and pool and everything else. And so I'm going to start I'm going to cancel my memberships at Planet Fitness. I'm going to cancel my, finally, my membership at Export, which is impossible to, uh, Export is impossible to quit. I mean, they make it like you have to have a registered letter and all this other crap. It's completely um, bad business practices. Um, And I'm just going to join up... uh, with uh, the community centers in D.C. and start treating that like I do the libraries, uh, a destination of my bicycling and then using the um, uh, the gear and the pools and going from there. And um, so that's the plan. The plan today was going to be getting lots of meters done and getting lots of hours done, but I think I'm only going to get the hours done We'll see. Maybe I can do really, really, like, relaxed meters on the rowing machine tonight, even if I still have AFib. Like, I can go infinitely slow. It just cares about the meters. It doesn't care about the intensity, Betsy. Um, So, yeah, I'm probably going to be working till 8.30 tonight. um, Because tomorrow... I have both the volunteering for park run and there's going to be a no agenda, uh, meetup get together. So that'll be in Alexandria. So soon, I just assume I'm going to do both. Um, I will be sweaty and stinky and awful at the get together. So maybe it won't be that long. But really, I don't know, like, if, uh, if, if I still have AFib, I might use Uber tomorrow for all that stuff. Or maybe if I can find a, um, electric bike or, or something. Um, but hopefully between now and then, 
everything will be fine. Everything, it'll be all right. Everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. Post it. Uh, so, do any of all y'all, like, watch Gutfeld? I don't have Fox. So, I end up watching it on YouTube by these, uh, pirates who, like, steal bits and pieces of it. It's never, like, fully done. Like, sometimes... I'll be able to watch the beginning. Sometimes it'll cut off the monologues. It, oftentimes they cut off the second half of the show or the final third. It's really frustrating. But it's not frustrating enough to pay for either Hulu TV or YouTube TV. But if you were going to choose one of them, what would you get? Would you get uh, Sling? Would you get YouTube TV or would you get Hulu TV? I really want to know. I think Hulu TV is the best idea because, like, it already is where I watch all my network TV. So maybe that's the best way. Let me know. All right. So now I'm ordering. I'm ordering my coffee and water from Starbucks and it'll be ready in 10 minutes so I can talk to you guys for a while more um it's such a bummer guys oh my god and I I know that like I did it to myself and I know that not eating after 4 p.m is a good idea and not eating a giant bomb of, of fat and salt is also a good idea, and eating as early in the day as possible is a good idea, and not eating at like 9 o'clock or 8 o'clock at night, and certainly not eating everything out of the out of the fridge is a good idea too. I really overdid it, and um, it's a vagus nerve, vagus, vegas, vegan, it's a vagus nerve, like that's the thing that pops me in and out of AFib is um, pretty much putting like what's in my stomach and in my esophagus and so forth. And then the way it presses on the nerve uh, that goes all and up and down your body and in fact has a lot to do with your um, heart rhythm. So I did it to myself. I did me and no one else. I did it to myself. I did, because I'm such a pig, I did it to myself, I did, of me and no one else, I did it to myself, I did, and now the issue is done until I see if I need a cardio version, or maybe it'll go on its own, since I'm taking Tykesin, maybe because I am relaxed, and not really anxious, and maybe it'll fix itself by tonight. Or when I wake up in the morning, either way, I'm gonna do the 3.2 miles, but I might go, not via my bike and take an Uber, or maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll cancel it. What would you guys do? Anyway, sorry about the singing. I hope you're well, and I'll talk to you very soon. Maybe today's a two-episode day. Um, oh, yeah, the joke, the one joke I made today is because the latest... The latest uh, version, the latest sub-whatever of COVID is called Eris, E-R-I-S. And I made the joke about the Taylor Swift tour, which I thought was Eros, but is Eras, Eras eras like eras of time like 90s and etc like uh 90s nostalgia but then when i realized that the name of the um the new omicron or whatever is not delta or whatever but is uh eris which is the goddess of war and chaos or something um and they're only 
and that uh, and that giant tours with thousands of rich girls is going to be an amazing vector for transmission of COVID uh, because you know none of those girls wear masks. And so I made a joke today about when uh, it goes from being an Eras or Eris tour to being an Eris, Eris tour. That was my big joke for today, and it'll not be picked up anywhere, and I never go viral, and I think I'm shadow banned even from myself, and I hope you guys are all well. I love you. Take care. And if you guys have any ideas on the best, like trail shoes not for technical trails but for kind of rocky trails like they have in roosevelt island i'd love you to tell me what your recommendation is i ended up actually buying a pegasus trail four a nike pegasus trail four and i'll be getting it on the 15th which is ready for next weekend but not ready for this weekend so i'll see how that goes but um what would you guys choose I don't think a barefoot shoe, even a barefoot shoe with lugs is good because like it'll mess. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe I'll try one of those. And, um, but I'm going to wear out these Nike Pegasus, uh, trail fours first. So today I am wearing the cheap Witten barefoot shoes that I think are everybody's favorite thingy. And, uh, I'll talk to you maybe later today. It's Friday. August 11th. Tomorrow is park run at 9 sharp, 8.30 for me. And tomorrow is also, come on, dit, uh, 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 um, no agenda meetup in Alexandria. Go to noagendameetup.com and look for it under upcoming events. I'll talk to you soon. Mahalo. Ciao. for listening to the chris abraham show make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes until next time